me show you how to recreate this crumbling stone transition in Premiere Pro. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Justin, AKA Adobe Wan Kenobi, back for another tutorial. And today we're talking the epic crumbling stone transition that I used in my most recent travel video where I went to Puerto Vallarta. And if you haven't checked it out, go and check that out right after this video because I think you're really gonna like it. Put a lot of hard work into that and I would hate for you to miss out on it. Now, with that being said, I don't have a lot more to say. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro and let's get cracking with this tutorial. So in Premiere Pro, we have our sequence here with two clips, one after the other. We've got a little bit of color correction on there, as well as a letterbox on our adjustment layer here. Now our first step is to disable all of the effects. So I'm gonna turn off that adjustment layer as well as the color correction. And now I'm just gonna take a screenshot at the start of the second clip, find somewhere to save it that you'll be able to locate shortly. And then we will give it a name here. You don't have to be too specific, but it's always nice to keep things organized. I'm gonna leave this as TIFF, and then I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to open up Photoshop and drag that screenshot in there. Now it's important to keep the same dimensions on this Photoshop file as your Premiere Pro sequence. Now go ahead and duplicate that layer. Make sure it's centered because Photoshop sometimes likes to move it around when you copy and paste it. And now with that second layer selected, we are gonna go up to select and then select and mask. And now we're gonna get this transparency slider. We're gonna put that around 70. So that's going to reveal a bit of our image. And then we are going to be able to take our cursor and just paint out the section here that we want to use to reveal in our transition. It works better if it's contrasty, but once you're happy, hit OK, and you'll see we have this layer isolated. So I think that I left some of my legs, so I'm just going to use the eraser tool to get rid of that. Now that's looking all good. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate that isolated layer two more times and make sure it's centered. And once those are all good, I'm going to hide all of them except the first, then go to my eraser tool and find a large splatter brush and slowly start removing a lot of the layer. Now this first one, I'm gonna take a lot of it off. Now that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go to the second one and remove a bunch, but not as much as the first one and so on and so forth. Now, the idea is that it's going to slowly fade in over time with more blots filling in one by one. Now delete the background and one by one save out these layers as transparent PNG files so that we can bring them back into Premiere Pro. Now it's again, nice to keep them all organized and labeled. I like to do it by 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D so I know the correct order. And now once those are all exported, we will find them and bring them back into Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna make a photo transition folder and import all of those in. And now I'll go to the speed duration of all of those and just make it 10 frames so that I can easily work with them on our timeline. And now I'm just going to add a few different video tracks here just because we are going to be adding in quite a few elements. So I just want enough space. And now I'm just gonna drag them all in and put them one on top of each other, line them all up, and then I'm going to make them reveal every two frames. So one, two, boom, one, two, boom, one, two, boom. And now you'll see it sequentially fades in and ends as the second clip starts. So now we're gonna turn back on our effects, our letterboxing and our color correction. Make sure to put that color correction on those Photoshop layers as well. And when you play it back, you get that nice effect. And the last thing to do is find your favorite film burn, throw that onto your timeline. Maybe we'll speed it up a little bit, center it, change our blend mode to screen, and then give it a nice fade in and fade out. And there you have it, a really cool crumbling stone transition.
And there you have it, an epic crumbling stone transition. Feel free to use this in your next edit. I do think it's a really cool transition that can be used in a bunch of different ways. So feel free to take it, make it your own. And if you feel like it, give your boy some credit, but no hard feelings if not. Now, with that being said, I will see you all next video. Peace.